there are so many in demand entry level tech jobs in the scene presently and today i'm going to be showing you what these roles are what they are paying and what skills you need to be able to land these roles now i'm not just only specific about canada but i'm talking about high demand tech jobs all across the world globally guys so stay tuned and do not miss this information now coming on number eight has to be web developer if you're more on the tech side and you do not like to go into product management or maybe soft skills then this might be a role for you this is such a great place for you to start a career because it's going to teach you the foundation of you know development then you can thereafter delve into areas like software engineering and web de web designing etc now for salaries okay of this um individual roles i'm going to be talking about today i'm going to be referring to levels fyi for my compensation or for my for the range of compensations i'm going to be calling for each of these roles so i'm going to drop the link below after the video so you can go through it and see what it is i'm going to be referring to levels fyi because they give like a median or an average you know compensation for each of these roles so you can know or tell what these roles earn you know averagely okay globally across the world so i'm going to leave the link below so you can go through it and see what it is now like i said the average salary of a web developer is about $148,000. Okay, guys, this is the average, is the median salary. What this means is that it is not an entry level salary. Okay, so the entry level salary could be about $80,000 to $90,000. Okay, but the median, what it means is that you can actually aspire, you can get to that point and even more. That's like the average. And that, that's like the average you can make as a web developer. Now, coming on number seven is the UI UX designer. The, this individual, okay, wears a lot of different hats. A UI UX designer does not only consider the design, okay, of the web or the design of the product, but also considers customer experience. So you are constantly thinking with different hats. UI UX designers are always constantly researching conducting studies you know because they have to be sure that what they're giving out or putting out there is something their customers will enjoy they earn an average salary of about one hundred and seventy thousand dollars honestly before now i never knew that ui ux designers could make as much as one hundred and seventy dollar thousand dollars guys remember i said this is these are not entry level amounts okay these are like the median that the average you can find in these industries honestly it blew my mind now moving on to the number six role that is in hot in demand across the world especially in canada has to be cybersecurity. Now, as AI continues to take over the whole world, more and more cybersecurity specialists will be needed. You might be wondering what and what these people do, what are their roles, what are their responsibilities. I'll tell you. The things they do is that they analyze network structures and they also test security measures in companies, such as software permissions and firewalls. Now, the second thing they do is ensuring that companies data are secured you no know, protecting them from cyber attacks and all of that the top thing they do is designing and implementing data recovery systems just in case there's a cyber attack incident okay now these are the things that cyber security specialists do now what let's talk about the salary range the median or average salary of a cyber security analyst or specialist is and for a junior role for a cyber security specialist it's between eighty two thousand dollars to about ninety thousand dollars is for the starting point of this role now coming on number five is the product manager i used to think that you require a lot of years of experience to be able to delve into this area but guys it's not true anymore product managers help to see a product from the visionary stage up until the end product of that product so they are very vital you know people in any organization product managers are usually in control of the whole life circle of the product the median income or the average income of this set of people is about one hundred and ninety five thousand dollars this is according to levels fyi now the coming up on number four is the data scientist or the data analyst now some of the responsibilities of a data analyst is that they collect data and they also cleanse data to make them accurate for use two completeness and uniformity they ensure that these data are reliable for use the top thing they do is that they also engage in data visualization they conduct data visualization 
to you know to present data trends and also distribution to so make sure there's a relationship among all variables the average or median salary for a data analyst will be about a hundred and sixty thousand dollars guys every of these amounts i'm mentioning today is in usd so because i'm talking about a global situation right now now moving on to number three is the cloud computing analyst now cloud computing just got very very common in the last three years and i'll tell you why this is because everyone now understands the importance of clouds now this particular industry is picking currently and guys it is high in demand the entry level salary for a cloud computing analyst is about a hundred and eighteen thousand dollars guys this is huge as an entry level person you can get at least a hundred and eighteen thousand dollars you want to look into all of these professions i'm talking about today so if you don't have these skills you want to upskill yourself you want to get the certification so that you will be a hot market guys don't do now guys moving on to number two guys moving on to number two is the full stack developer this is one of the hottest in demand roles globally guys if you are someone who doesn't just know about building the front end but you can also build the back end and you still understand designs guys you will be a very hot market a lot of companies do not have funds to recruit someone who works on the front end and then recruit another person who works on the back end they'll rather recruit someone who can do the both okay thereby saving some money you know paying one person to do the job well rather than paying two people to do the job you no know, because they'll be spending more by paying two people guys so this is a hot 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 market like if you can get into this field you will be a sellable individual the average salary of a full stack developer is about a hundred and forty nine thousand dollars this is awesome now ring the bells for number one guys the number one hot in demand you know role is the ai engineer guys it just has to be the ai engineer ai is taking over the world currently and guys this is the hottest guy on the block now what do the ai engineers do one of the things they do is that they design, they develop, and they, you know, optimize machine learning models. Okay. This is one of the things they do. The second thing they do is they implement AI solutions to meet current business needs. We all know that businesses are, you know, going, you know, growing astronomically and to put people to meet their demand or meet business demands. Okay. It has to be technology. So what else but AI? AI engineers also work with data scientists and other stakeholders to ensure that all the solutions that are being implemented work effectively. These are some of the roles of an AI engineer. Guys, let's talk about the entry level salary of an AI engineer. The entry level salary of an AI engineer is about $62,000. Yes, I know. Wait, I know you're asking, why is this the first? when they are earning when their salary is about the lowest compared to what i've all I've said so far i'm going to tell you why it might not be number one right when it comes to salary okay but as far as skills go this is number one because every big corporate organization okay that has big dreams or big visions okay they need technology so this skill is never going out of you know demand it's never going out of demand so it's a good time to get into this you know role or get a certification in this role you know this will help you become so sellable this will help you you know become so hot in the market so guys all of these opportunities or roles i just talked about today will give you an opportunity to you know start up as a you know fresher okay get certified and then move okay tech is not going anywhere anytime soon it is here to stay and this is the most secured industry you can think about anywhere in the world so guys i hope that this video will help you if you're someone who is considering coming to canada or coming to any country or relocating to any country in the world and you're looking for what is in demand currently you want to get certifications in tech you want to look into this area you want to build yourself you want to upskill yourself so when you get into this market you are hot you are being sought after guys thank you so much for watching my video in my next video i'm going to show you how you can get the skills you know from the best of the best make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that when i put out that video you'll be the first to see it be good